Welcome back to PBZ2. We are absolutely plowing through these worlds. We're going to get started on Far Future. I have it on good authority that this is supposed to be one of the best worlds in the whole game. So many people come to me saying Far Future is their favorite world, so I will be the judge of that. Let's have a look here. Right, we do the usual first glance. What we got here? Laser Bean. I already like the sound of that. That Blover. That's Blover. Citron. Nice. That's going to be EM Peach. That is EM Peach. We've got Space Johnny. Damn, okay. They can actually regain health over time. I was going to say, while I'm reading through this, I should probably take the time to actually, you know, read what they do. Magnifying Grass is here. I've been told this is one of them ones where you have to click on it to activate it. And it actually uses sun to attack. It's a really interesting gimmick this thing has. It's like Coconut Cannon, but it uses sun instead. Don't know how powerful it's supposed to be. I did get to witness the death of Mary Poppins at the hand of one of these things. And the last one here is Tile Turnip. Creates a power tile on planting. Well, I don't even know what a power tile is, so we're going to find out. Far Future, you're up. Let's get started with level one. This one's a little bit short. This one's only 25 levels. We're... Taking it down a notch for this. Okay, so what's the deal with these tiles? Because I've been playing Pinata Party like on the daily, and I keep seeing these tiles, and I have no idea what they do. The future, weird. I thought I would be hungrier after I haven't eaten in 4,000 years. That's a good point. Imagine if that's how time travel actually works. I know it tends to not be because you're just like picking your current self up and plonking it in a different timeline but what if you had to do time travel through like accelerated time like you just fast forward years rather than travel years does that make sense surely you would just starve to death i don't know why we're discussing this penny doesn't either what happened to the lawn it's so glowy i'm detecting an array of power tiles on the space lawn put plant food on the pea shooter I see, okay. So they kind of like, I plant food one and it syncs up with the rest. Kind of like how girls sometimes tell you that when they're hanging out with their friends and one of them's on, you know, they all kind of... <laughs> Apparently girls' menstrual cycles sync up like Wii remotes. So I'm told. All right, so we got normal zombies, bucket heads, cone heads, and jetpacks. Well, surely I could just bring Hurricane and he's gonna take his ass out like straight away. Let's bring the setup. You know, the setup that I spent ages working on, and then it turns out it's not even that good. Although maybe I was just setting it up wrong. I'm thinking that I was really not setting this up the correct way. I'm really keen on the idea of putting sunflowers on these power tiles, because sometimes I like to plant food my sunflowers. And if I plant food one of them, then it's going to plant food all three of them. So I'm going to make bank if I do that. Yeah, I think the problem I had before was I was trying to fart ass around with like, oh, should I have like two fuzzies and then two endurings? Like, why don't I just have a whole row of fuzzies? Why don't I just do everything in lines? Just like a normal human. So I'm going to try this out. I want to see what happens when I actually get some plant food. I'm going to go for a whole row of fuzzies. I'm not going to... I'll tell you what I'm going to do with Endurian. I'm going to save him for like when I need him. Instead of just like chucking them down like out of habit why don't we actually let me put a lightning reed right there when i feel like i'm gonna need it then i'll put it down okay so if i plant food this sunflower there you go now we're talking oh i just got so much sun oh we're definitely doing this this is gonna be a strategy see i'm already figuring this out i already like far future I've been told this is one of the coolest worlds. It's a fan favorite, this one, it would appear. See, yeah, this is what I'm saying. Why don't we just do the setup like this? Like, this is so much more simplistic, and this is much more effective, because, I mean, five fuzzies is better than two. Uh, should we do it again? Sure, let's go ahead. So, does Hurricane work on these guys? Didn't get to find out, because he died too quick. The power of pay to win. It's a laser bean. What are you saying? I mean, anything that has a laser beam, you know, I'm I'm on board with that because then I just get to, you know, I don't care how old it gets. Shoots a laser that pierces through zombies. Oh, we're back on the piercing. Okay, that sounds good. That sounds good. I need zombies that can pierce. Zombies that can pierce. Zombies that can pierce. I feel like that's been a problem that I've had for a long time. Okay, there's a different kind of tile now. What do they do? Who the hell is this guy? Well, you know the rules. I'm not allowed to look it up in the almanac. I have to find out the hard way. Well, I'm thinking I'm going to bring something similar. I'm going to bring the usual setup, but instead of lightning reed, I will bring... Where the hell is laser bean? Right up here. Oh, I can already upgrade him. See, this is why the order of things is getting a bit weird, and I feel like this is why it seems a bit random on the plant selection. Apparently, Far Future originally was the fourth world. 
which would explain why there's only 25 levels. Can I upgrade it again or no, that's it. I didn't even get a chance to look at his stats, so I don't even know like, how powerful he is. So what's the deal with these triangle tiles now? Do they do? Do they just do the same thing? Is it just one of them ones where the X's are synced up and then the triangles are synced up? I don't know. This lawn's starting to look like a PlayStation controller. I'm going to stick with what I did before, though, having the sunflowers on these tiles so that I can get that sun production in quickly. It'll probably be more helpful with this because laser beams are a bit more expensive than lightning reeds, so... That would be quite helpful, actually. I think my problem with a lot of these setups is I try and overcomplicate it. I'm always like, ooh, let's put like one of this there and one of that there and let's zigzag it and no. Just play the game. Put everything in a line. Everything in an orderly fashion. Okay, so if I plant food this, it's gonna do the other one. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's interesting. You could really, you could develop so many different strategies with that. You could do what I'm doing where you put a sunflower on it or you could put like a, you could put a melon pole on it. There's loads of different things you could do. Okay, now what's the deal with you? Oh, he puts up a barrier. It seems like the laser beam actually hits through that. Hold on. Whoa! Jesus Christ. Okay, so laser beam hits through that barrier, it seems. Let me just get a laser beam in each lane. Nice, okay. It recharges quick. I like that. I like when the recharge is quick. I kind of want to just leave it at this and I want to see how quickly these cone heads die. I mean, they've got three fuzzies on them as well, each. Yeah, they're dying fast. Well, let's get some more down. Why not? So if I go for a row of fuzzies and then I just spam laser beams all over the field, like... That's going to be kind of cracked, right? How quick does the bucket head die? I'm going to be interested to see this. Is he going to die before he gets the fuzzy? He is. Wow. Okay. And he doesn't even get to cover anything up because he's got piercing damage. Wow. We could be in business here. We're like one level into this and I'm already liking what I'm seeing. That thing just died instantly. It's not very bulky. I do that to try and end the level quicker and save time. And then I have to sit here and wait for their bodies to thaw out. That's fine, mate. You, you die in your own time. I got all day. So Blove is going to be the next one. I mean, I guess Blover would be useful if you didn't have Hurricane, but I do have Hurricane. I'm pretty certain I've seen them somewhere before. Haven't I seen them in Garden Warfare 2 somewhere? Oh yeah, I played a mod. I think I played a mod once where you could actually use these as playable characters. This is probably where they got them. So little imps in spaceships. I currently have a boosted cabbage pole, so I'm going to use that. Got a boosted winter melon pole, actually. I'm going to just kind of completely mix this up and see what I can do. I definitely want to bring laser beam still. I think Chad guard could be quite good. I guess Stolia? This is an interesting kind of flavor we're going for here. So I'm thinking we'll go sunflowers on these two. And then... We could totally put cabbage pulse on these X spaces. 100% we could do that. In fact, that wouldn't be a bad shout, I don't think. Oh, dude, you know what? I missed the beat here. Imagine putting fuzzies on these two. That would have been so sick. One plant food could have just wiped the entire board clean. Okay, so laser beam kills him in four shots. Fair enough. Put some laser beams down for now. And then, actually, these move kind of quick. I probably want to get rid of them. No, they didn't even die. Well, that's good. Uh, let me do this then. Haha, -ha, sync up to the other one. You got it. Good stuff. I like this gimmick. Of course, it would be way better with Melon Pole. But my Melon Pole isn't boosted. Although now that they're actually down on the spaces, it didn't really make a difference. See, because then what I'm thinking is we could totally put a, a Chad Guard like there. And then there's pretty much fuck all he can do. All right, so go to the back of the line, please, sir. Hurricane all that. Yep, kills him instantly. Not more of these guys. Hold on. Sync up the Wii Remotes. That's the stuff. So I reckon that's definitely the play. Either get sunflowers on these or get some kind of, like, catapult. There's Blover. Is there anything else you could do? I'm thinking of something that, like, clears the whole board, potentially. Nah, I'm thinking I want to try and get Melon Pole on there. You know, sometimes suns are bombs. What? Survive while sun bombs fall. What are you chatting about? Um, not allowed sunflower. Oh, so the sun bombs are my sun production. Okay. I had no idea what's going on here. We'll, I, we'll get into it, I guess. I kind of want to try bringing melon pole. I'll give that a go. Bring iceberg lettuce. Laser beam. The laser beam. Gordon Ramsay. Stolia. And where's Fuzzy? There you are. I'm just kind of winging it here. So what are these sun bombs that you're going on about explosions can damage plants and oh okay 
Oh, I have to let it hit the floor for it to become sun. Okay. But I could also click on it and do damage. I see. Okay, so it's multi-purpose. I want to try and hit one of them with it. I need one to land like, yeah, 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 right there. That is spot on. Ready? Bosh. Okay, so that's an instant kill. I don't know if it'll insta-kill everything, though. I'm definitely thinking we want Melon Pole on here. I want to try and get Melon Poles on all three of those. And then... Maybe laser beams on the back ones. Yes, probably not a bad shout, actually. Bada boom. Pow. Why well, I'm just gonna hit this now. Okay, good. So that does hit him. Let's be having you. How about you? No, that didn't hit him. Fuck's sake. Oh, hold on. Push him back. I just want to get melon poles down on all the triangle spaces. Oh, I can't hit that. Tell you what can hit you, though. Mmm. Just drive through it, mate. It's fine. It's light work. It won't puncture your tires. Might melt them, though. I just need that last melon pole. Come on. There it is. Good. Should we go for the plant food now? I tell you what, let's do it. It really took the second one to actually hit the zombie that was right in front of him. Priorities. Literally was in the process of being eaten by a zombie and never occurred to him to maybe hit that one. That just kills him straight away. Dude, these sun bombs are insane. We ain't playing around with these. That's perfect. I see that. I need to get them both. Nailed it. Okay, neither of them died. Let's do this. That'll do. Do this as well. And again. Dude, that was just an absolute onslaught. That was what, like... Double laser beam and six different plant foods from Melon Pulse. What's this? You're never giving me the endless already. I spy with my crazy eye a UFB. Is it the endless? Wow, they gave it to me early. I've still not tried endless yet in this game. We're on like the what, sixth world now and I still haven't tried it. Terra from tomorrow is now available. I think I'm just gonna carry on. One of these times, I'll get around to it. So we have three different power plates now. Can I actually get a look at it? Uh-huh. How could we lay this out? I'm thinking sunflowers on the pluses. Sunflowers on the pluses. Or should we go twin sunflowers on the pluses? Now, that is an idea. And then we could... I don't know what to do about the other ones, though. Pylon mech's looking a bit different. Is Lightning Reed going to be any good here? Or is this guy just going to completely block it? Or am I going to just zap this thing and give it more power? Is that a thing? Is that how it works? Let's bring these three. I'll bring Lightning Reed this time. I want to try it out. want to see if he can handle this. I just want to see if he's going to be any use to me or not. If he's not, like, if I do this one and I get my ass whooped, then I'll just, like... I'll just go back to using laser beam. It's either going to work or it's not. But yeah, I'm thinking twin sunflowers on these three. And I could probably call it a day. Probably don't need any more sunflowers than that. Because you've got to think, every time I plant food this, it's just going to... I'm going to be making stonks. Although the thing is, I don't actually have to... I don't know why this never occurred to me. I don't have to put the same thing on both tiles. Why Why did that never occur to me? Let me get some lightning reach down for the moment. Let's do this. We were on 400 sun. We're now well over a thousand. I just trebled my sun count. I'll put lightning reeds on these back ones and maybe I'll put fuzzies on the front ones. Or is that just overkill? Maybe I could put endurians on these. Actually, let's put endurians on them and then fuzzies behind. Yeah, because then I can reinforce the endurians and use the lightning reed plant food as well. We could barricade it up and then make it rain. I'll show you what I mean. If I do this... It was an idea. Is the thunder cloud going to take this thing out? No. It actually just soaked up the entirety of that. Okay, so it does go down. It only took two different lightning replant foods. Shane hard. I love the way you keep sending the big stuff in the lane where I don't have the endurians. Let's try this. The parapeter wing compels you. Okay. It took one of them out. Lava guava. There you go. Took a second. Was he trying to shovel the lava into his mouth? What kind of nutritional value do you think you're going to get out of that? Some space johnnies. I like that I'm going to be able to level them up straight away. Apparently space johnny, I think, is supposed to have a really, really good plant food. 
Okay. This one looking like a fucking set of traffic lights. You can pick your friends, but you can't pick these plants. Oh, yeah, we're playing PvZ3 again. Cool. Shit. Well, at least they've given me sunflower. Uh, how we want to do this. I'm at least going to dedicate one of the pairs to sunflower so that I can do my enhanced sun production, should I desire. I don't want to use pea shooter. Oh, man, this really is like a PvZ3 level with a bit of extra sprinkled in. They've given us Sunflower, Pea Shooter, and Bonk Choy, and Johnny. Literally, if you took away Laser Bean and Blover, this is PvZ3. I'll tell you what, let me put a Sunflower, like, behind this. Do something like that, maybe? Maybe I could just do that on all of them. So every time I plant food a Bonk Choy, I get extra sun with it as well. That's actually, that's not a bad idea. And then we'll go Laser Beam in the back here. I probably do want some extra Sunflowers, but... I can do that. Pew. I'm thinking we wait until this guy gets close. We'll hit a plant food on the middle bonk choy. And then I'll get a bit of extra sun with that as well. Bit of extra. Bit of that. Bosh, 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 bosh. Hit it now. Beautiful. Extra sun. I like the way you can coordinate this. It's good. Encourages big brain activity. Which, as you know, is a specialty of mine. <laughs> Can't even say that with a straight face. I'm thinking we just pick our moment here, and then we just hit these bonk choys. I know I could use Blover, but I don't want to do that. There's not even any point. They die before they even get to me. Can bonk choy still kill this one in the middle, or... Oh, he let his shield down. Oh, he died, that's why. <laughs> that might have something to do with it. Well, at this point, we have four plant foods, so I reckon... I'm a fire in the labor. That's how you clear a final wave. Citron. What say you? Turns into a ball and pussies out of every fight he's about to lose. True. What day are we on now? Oh, that's a really weird layout, this one. We are dealing with it okay, so far. Then again, this is supposed to be the fourth world, so... Do I try Citron? He is quite expensive, though. Let's upgrade him, at least. What kind of damage are we talking? 850? Okay, hang on. Might have to rethink my position here. 850 damage. Right, and I'm pretty sure he has a piercing plant food. You hear that? This thing's old. Do you remember when I did the video promoting this? It's cool, it's colourful, and it's comfier than your bed. It also comes with arms, a headrest, and support for your lower back. So you can sit down for a seven-hour gaming session, because, let's be honest, you don't have anything better to do with your time, and afterwards you can get up and not feel like Joe Pesci at the end of Casino. I've been Dr. Bobby Orange. I endorse these products, and I will now hand over to my client. To be fair, they said that was the best promotion anyone's ever done for them. Even though virtually the entire thing was a piss take. I guess I'll try Citron. Why not? Let's, uh, let's figure out a setup. I feel like Citron's going to be one of them ones you probably want to place at the back. This would be a really good one to bring if you had like a setup where you had a power tile in every single lane that was the same. Like if all of these tiles were the same. Imagine putting Citrons on all of those. I'm going to leave Injurian this time. Let's bring Shrinking Violet. I haven't actually tried Shrinking Violet out in this world yet. I wonder what happens if I use Shrinking Violet on the little space imps. Do they still get insta-killed or...? I'm thinking, why don't we do the same thing that we did last time? We'll put a sunflower in each of the pairs and then we'll pair it up with something else. So like, we'll do something like this. We'll put sunflower on top of the... Put it that one there. And then we'll have one in the bottom. And then I have no idea what I'm going to do with the rest. But then it means anytime I plant food one of these... I'm just going to do that. For lack of knowing what else to do right now. I kind of want to do Citron, but... Yeah, go on, let's do Citron. Put it in there. Love how he starts off. He just blows himself up like a balloon. I love it. Yeah. 850 damage, by the way. You're not surviving that. Okay, so he's just going to sit there and wait. You're not going to burst, are you? Or This is kind of taking a hot minute. He should charge in time. Just about. Ah, see, now I've got nothing in the middle lane. I mean, I've got things like Lava Guava that can kind of get me by. Do you know what? Let's put Fuzzies down. Probably should have been doing that anyway. Might have to do this. I needed rid of that thing. I'm not keeping track of this very well. See, I knew Citron was going to be too expensive. That's going to have to do. Wait, he just flies over that? No way. Oh, you got to be shitting me. It works against the dragonfly. Why not him? So you got a jetpack, you think that makes you cool? Fuck out of here. Do that and plant food it. 
Ooh. Like a fully charged pre-patch E-Citron shot. This is not very sustainable. I will definitely hit one of those. Don't mind if I do. Let's do one of these as well. Earthquake. Get a Citron there, finally. Do that one. Do that one. He survived the earthquake. Wow. Okay, this one's just not dying at all. These things are so bulky. Thank you. Jesus. Why does that look like an etch -a sketch 404 error. Brains not found. Please reload brains. God, this is like me during a maths test. Yep, if you try turning it off and on again. The universal fix to everything. So wait, what are we doing? Is this a boss level already? Welcome back, Gardner. In this year, your brains were collected ages ago. Collect them again soon. Okay, so we're doing the boss level. Really early. Oh, we've got the mech gargantua. Wow, okay. Shit just got real. Are we just gonna layer the whole thing up with laser beans and johnnies and just call it a day? Uh, we could start putting snapdragons, like, here, I guess. I guess I'll put a citron there. I don't know. Just trying to wing it. Meanwhile, this guy's trying to jetpack it. Oh, they're actually giving me power tiles. Really? How many of those are you gonna give me, is the question. If you could give me five of those, I will happily plonk them all along this back row here. Like, I will gladly do that. See, the thing about Blover is I'm pretty sure Blover only affects flying units. Oh, they're giving me different kinds of power. Well, that doesn't help. What's the point in that? Does it do anything? No, it doesn't blow. I should hope not. I don't even know if that's PG. That is the best R-Truth impression I can possibly muster up. I'm going to have to laser beam this. Good, good, good. Blover. Okay, so it gets rid of them in all lanes. That's good to know. Gonna have to definitely get some stuff down here. Johnny. Oh, perfect. Here we go. Put that there. Double whammy. That's it. We're not done. We're not done. Hold on, hold on. Do it again. Oh, there's more. Oh, I thought that was the last wave. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Shit. If you could just give me one more of those X tiles. Just one more. Hang on, do this. That's going to do bare damage. Nice. I like that. That was kind of clutch. Perfect. There we go. There we go. There we go. Ready? Firing all the lasers. There you go. Hang on, what the hell? No, 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 Whoa, no, 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 no! Oh, what a knob. I actually, I actually didn't see him. I seriously fucked that up. I had the whole thing under control and one imp gets through. Okay, so a little rethink. Oh, I had the power ups. I could have used one of them. I really, I really didn't have to let myself lose just then. I mean, I suppose that's it. Perfect, 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 there you go. Bingo. Let's hit it. Nice. Get them all out of here. I'm saying let's do that. And that. I mean, that's one way of doing it. Just to make sure. And the disrespect laser. Had to be done. So that's eight days. I'll probably leave it there because this one's a little bit shorter, so I'll break it down probably into... I'll maybe do eight this time, eight next time, and then... <laughs> brains not found. Please reload brains. Nine in the last one. That was the first eight levels of Far Future. We've already hit the first boss. Is that the only boss, or is there going to be like a... No, they really just put the boss that early. I mean, all right. It's cool so far. I'm liking the gimmicks in this one. I can see where people like this world, I think. But we're only eight levels in long way to go hope you have enjoyed the episode we will be back with some more of this very soon probably jump back on garden warfare 2 for my next video i've got uh some more dumb ways to play that game if you enjoyed the episode make sure you like comment subscribe all that good stuff supporting the channel has been insane recently so i just want to say thank you for that stay tuned for the next episode see you next time